Today we have a high-tech gadget which has an RGB LCD pixel art display which can be used to serve as a clock, display notifications, custom images, but is also a hi-fi Bluetooth speaker. Let's take a closer look at the Devoom Timebox Evo. Now for full disclosure, Devoom did send me this product for review free of cost. However, they've not participated in the review whatsoever. Matter of fact, they're probably a little ticked off that I've taken over three months to get around to this review. Apologies to Devoom. Anyway, this will be an honest review. Now before we get started, check out our sponsor. Do all of your friends call you a loser for using a sus copy of Windows? Then stop being a zero and get ready to be a hero by getting a valid copy of Windows 10. With all the bells and whistles a future superstar like you needs, you might be thinking to yourself, Eh, Pro Edition costs $200, see? No. If you follow the link in the description to VIPCDKDeals.com, you can get yourself a Windows 10 Professional Edition for $22.50. Wow! You think that's great? Well, if you use coupon code NK25, you get 30% off. That brings the price of Windows 10 Professional to $15. Wow! All major payment methods accepted, including PayPal, Visa, and MasterCard. Once you have your license key, open Settings, then System, About, then Change Product Key. Simply copy and paste your new key and then click Next, and then you are Gucci, my friend. Gracias por su paciencia, or thank you for your patience. Now let's get right into it, starting with an unboxing. Now getting right into it, I do have to comment on the construction. We do have a nice fit and finish. And what this is right here, this is our RGB LCD screen, which is for pixel art, which I'll show you shortly. On the top, this is all rubberized, by the way. This has a nice feeling. It, it feels like rubber. It's rubber coated plastic, so rubberized plastic, but it does feel high quality. We have our power button right here. And on top, we have several buttons, which I'll get into on the features. On the back, this is our speaker, which you can kind of see it through there. And it's proclaimed to be hi-fi. And at the bottom here is our USB-C charging port. And this thing is a really cool device. So let's go ahead and power it on. Now to power on the unit, we'll of course press this power button. We'll just press and hold that for a second. And you hear that doo -doo -doo doom. That means the unit's powered on. And we can already see the screen coming up. Now it's going that it's to Bluetooth setting and it's needing us to pair with our phone because we're gonna control everything that this cool screen does with the app. We can do all kinds of pixel art. If we press the button right here, this changes the channel essentially that this little screen is on, kind of like a TV. And we already have some pixel art uh, animations going on here and we can kind of sift through ones that I've already put on here. And I'll show you how you can do these. And you can even make your own custom pixel art to display here. It can display notifications, but when you're not doing this, it is, of course, a clock. We'll press and hold, and we can change the effects. But right out of the box, what this is, we'll press and hold over here. This is to set our alarm. If we press this button here, we can set an alarm to where this operates just as a clock. We're going to go ahead and close that. And I think I can get us back to where we're just a clock. Right here, there. So this is the mode change right here, this little sun icon. This can change from the clock mode. It's always a clock. But to not view the clock and you want to view some pixel art, you press once and that will change the channel. 
and we press again to get past that and then it's kind of cycling through the animations that I've already saved to the device. And also we can pair this so they can be a Bluetooth speaker but there's so much that we can do by adding our phone. So let's go ahead and add the app. Now right when I open the Devoom app immediately I can see all of these pixel art that I can put on my device and all I have to do is tap on them and it instantly goes there. There's no downloading, there's no USB cables, I'm just connected to it with Bluetooth and I think it might even be able to do Wi-Fi but I'm not sure about that. We're doing with Bluetooth and this is the way that I was reading in the manual as the way to do it. But what's really cool is in addition to all of these that are in categories such as patterns, emojis, characters, we're going to select season because because I'm going to put a jack-o'-lantern on here, but I can pick any of these, like this one here that's crying, that's cute. But this is such a really cool little screen. All those individual pixels are just for us to be using on this device. But what's really cool is from the main menu, there's this little plus button right in the center. And if we hit that, we have this little screen that we can use to do our own pixel art. And you can do it with your fingers, but I also have an S Pen since you can do this with an iPad, whatever you want. And you can even upload, but I'm going to go ahead and put do 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 Something basic here. I'm not a pixel art artist, but some guys in my server are, so maybe they'll save me and create some stuff. But we got a little end, and it's immediately there. Anything I put is immediately sent. So this is real time, and then you can hit top to save it. But I'm going to go ahead, and there's all these different color options, custom colors. So really cool. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and not save that one. Actually, I did save it on accident because it's there, but I can go back to here. And you can even set this up to where it's doing notifications for you. Um, and I, 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 this is just a really cool device. And it's all done with the app. And it's simple enough for even me to use because I'm not a pixel art guy. I'm a tech guy, but not a pixel art guy. Now, something that this would make a really good addition to would be your stream setup, such as on the background right here. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the background, and we'll see how it looks. Now, if you look back there, it's that little birthday cake right here. And I can go through all of my different notifications. It looks pretty cool there. It's a little on the small side, so I'm going to move it a little bit more to the foreground, see if it works out there for more smaller setups. Now I have it a little bit more towards my foreground, a little bit closer to the camera, and I think that is where it actually looks really good. It could probably even be moved to the side here. So a lot of different setups for such a small device. Devoom does make actually bigger screens, which I'm actually reviewing one of those next, which is up there on my wall, which is not even unboxed, right there. And that one's about this big, and that one should be a little bit better for bigger setups. However, that one's not a speaker. Let's check out how this device performs as a Bluetooth speaker. Now, according to the specs on the box and the website, this is a 6-watt DSP-tuned processor with a base ported design. I believe the base port would be down here. This is the driver, and when you use the word DSP-tuned, that is kind of hi-fi audiophile language, so I'm really interested to see if it lives up to that little bit of hype. It's not really hype. They're not saying it's an audiophile speaker, but you're using some of our terms. This is only 6 watts, which is not tiny for this device, but that's not huge as far as stereo systems go. So we're going to take this with a grain of salt. I would still like to see how it sounds. So let's go ahead and put it to the test. If you got a problem, PC problem, it take no problem. Talk to the man who got the plan, he gon' solve them. Blocking them hackers, all that hacking, it ain't gon' happen. Everything tech is taking it to the next level. Over a thousand people. can tell me in the comments what you think of the sound, at least the way it was played through my microphone right here. My overall perspective of how it sounded was it sounds like a small speaker. It doesn't sound tiny. It doesn't sound like a cell phone. It sounds significantly bigger than a cell phone speaker. Um, I wouldn't equate it to like a boombox at all. Um, the, what I do like about it is that it is tonally correct. It actually didn't sound weird. I actually listened to a lot of tracks that I couldn't play for you on camera due to copyright. And I used some of my test tracks that I used to test bigger speakers and headphones and they sounded 
correct. The only thing I would knock on it is that it's a six watt speaker. So don't go thinking that this is going to uh, be equal to like a JBL uh, pill type uh, portable Bluetooth speaker. But this is definitely good for like, let's say an office where you just want to hear some music, listen to a podcast, and you're just listening in, you know, in the workplace or in a small environment, but you're not trying to provide entertainment for the masses or you're trying to use this at a party. It's a little bit small, but look how, how small this is. A little cute little device that also has a Bluetooth speaker. So I definitely think it packs enough punch for the size of this device without trying to compete with larger speakers. But overall, it did sound good. It sounded correct. Nothing sounded odd or distorted the bass was nice there and a little punchy you know a little little tiny bass kick there so it did sound good it just you know it's it's small but overall this is a fantastic device and for the price you can check for the latest prices at the links in description but this is a cool little device i think a lot of people in the gamer environment of gaming world pixel art world um streaming or just you want something cute even as a gift to have on a desk that's not so boring as just a little clock with a little little bluetooth speaker into it um this definitely kicks all their butts in my opinion and um i really like it and i think you will too and congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Hope you found this review helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can find this product and link in description. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you next time. And